digital marketing misfits. So real quick, before it gets too deep in the comments, David asked, this is a really good question. What have you guys found to be the most effective free offer to provide your email leads to get them over the line? Or do you always need to provide something for free ebook video? I am a noob tomorrow. You got your hand up. <laughs> it so literally since 2018, I've seen multiple people win with a free course all the time. I've seen Every, like, I mean, literally, people. yeah, time and time and time and time again. It doesn't matter if it's uh, a free course into a high ticket offer. If it's a, like I recently did a free course into a SaaS, a, a SaaS company. So like a SaaS affiliate program. I had a, I had, a, I'm still earning monthly recurring commissions that still blow my mind. And I, I had to create the course once, right? Yeah. I spent, I, I think I told you guys, I spent four days. I created this entire course, right? Four days, filmed a bunch of videos. I just still don't know how you did that. I, I don't know. I, I just, I, but I had a framework. I had a framework. I'll, That's true. I'll tell you. So there was other, there was somebody else who had built a similar free course. And I said, I can build it. I'm not going to use his free course. I'm going to build my own free course. So I built out my entire free course. And then I went to TikTok and just started made. I literally made a handful of maybe 10 or 12 TikToks. And I ended up with like 4,000 leads, you know, a whole bunch of people that went from trial to paid. And now I earn monthly recurring commissions because they all took the initiative to start their own SaaS companies. So Yep. That's, that's a literal, a literal example within the last six months that I used a free course to promote a software, which earns me $200 per person per month for as long as they stay using the software. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So literally it was, I could, I could have kept going on that, but I got a couple thousand dollars in recurring and I, I, I fell into Amazon influencer and then that was the rabbit hole that I dragged Dom into. And here we are months <laughs> and months later. Months. Yeah. yeah, months and months later, so now we're all we're do. all doing. Glad you do. Yeah, that's probably the best rabbit hole we've ever gotten. And the to. thing about the free course, yeah. and and I'm not, I haven't done it yet. I just rely on Dom's. But if you can, <laughs> if you can master that kind of a thing, it will answer so many of the questions people mm -hmm. tag you on. Right, you're constantly yeah. in the DMs, whether it's on TikTok or anybody else, with the same questions over and over again. If you go through the effort of building that course, you just point them to the course. And yeah, then it's they a can come back and buy something or come back it's, and stay if, they, if they're interested in that. <clears throat> but that's another benefit per, of the free course. Perceived, perceived value. That's, yeah. that's really what it boils down to. Yeah. Now, like, free people course, are like, I could have sold my course. I could have sold what? my course. Somebody, somebody literally messaged me the other day. They're like, you gave this course away for free. I would have paid like 500 bucks for it. And I'm like, yeah, I know. You're not the first person who's told me that. The point, the point was for me not to earn money from the course. The point was for me to support them and give them enough information so that they stuck with the software because I don't want their $500. I want them to stick and pay me, you know, pay me $200 commissions for the next three years. Year. Yeah. Right. Well, it's funny you said it, right? Talking about stick rate on subscriptions. So let me know in the chat if anyone knows the company ClickFunnels. I'm hoping to get a whole lot of like yeses on there. Uh, but Spencer Meekum was the number one. It is, I think he still is the number one affiliate for ClickFunnels of all time. And um, he got there by creating a free, just how to use the software course. It was like his bonus. Mm -hmm. yep. So like, there's a big thing, especially with software, like software is a really cool thing to, because it is, it pays fat commissions and it's a subscription and people stick. If they stick, they stick forever. Yeah, and that's... a lot of, I think you want to use the specific term there. Just, I'm going to geek out if we're going to talk about software. All right. <laughs> um, it's all about the lifetime value within what the problem you're solving is. So mm -hmm. the software specifically needs to solve a very specific problem that you have developed with that community for then it to lead to perceived value. When you have the software, you can build everything around the software. After that, you can build the community around the software. The software itself is a solution to the problem. You can't just promote a software without it being a solution to somebody's problem. It's not just about fat commissions and reoccurring commissions. You need right. to have a solution to a problem behind software. Yes. That's, I, that's kind of where I was going with the point. Obviously the content solves the problem, but if you sell, if you show the problem, here's the software, go buy it. People will buy it, but then they're not necessarily going to get onboarded or they won't figure it out and they won't stick. So if you basically, as the affiliate create this, like here's how you get set up specific to your use case that'll increase your lifetime value because people will stick because they'll go, oh, I know how to use this. This is better onboarding than 
the company has. Because what's even crazier is is that I gave them a, a literal A to Z on how to set everything up, how to you know how to set up the software, how to get your first clients, all that stuff. And and they literally and there was still high churn, and there were still a bunch of people that didn't even finish the course. So you could literally hand somebody a free course, and they're still not going to finish it. Mm -hmm. uh, it sure. If you're going to hand someone a free course to sell a software product, you better follow up with extreme value on how you can add to that software after that. You can't just end at the software. And this isn't anything against Jamar. That's just literally otherwise the churn is going to happen. Yeah. 10 out of 10. You have to be uh, proactively careful because software is always updating. You can't be reactive to the software and just hope your free course stays forever and other software isn't going to come out. You've always got to be proactive within the software industry as a whole. And I, I had, and, and that's a great point is, is that a lot of the people who did end up sticking are the ones who took initial action and reached out to me saying, Hey, I'm having a trouble with this. Can you get on a one-on-one you know, -on -one call? And I did, I got on calls with people all summer long and help these people basically set up their business, help them get their first clients. And those are the ones that stuck and are still paying right for, for their SaaS subscription. So they, you're right. They needed that extra help even more so than what the course could provide. They needed that hands-on help. So, mm -hmm. so, so yeah, David, to answer that question, a free course is the best thing to give people for free to get in. And it answers a lot of questions, but I mean, it is also the hardest thing to make as a lead magnet. 